through some books today. I'm trying to get through three books. Let me get the audiobook to go with these. Mmm. Perfect. Download. Oh, that's too slow, honey. 1.5. Let's do 2.9. Oh, that's too slow, child. Ooh, 3.5. There it is. That was a good book. Let me get another one in here. 3.5. Eh, is that it? That's the first as it can go? That'll do. knocking out some reading today all right one more oh this one's a little thick let me see here yeah let's right here we'll go here so go back is that the, is that the best? i really wish i could get a 4.0 but i guess this will do Looks in 24 hours. Sweet. Okay, let me start on my next reads. I finish, probably can finish these by the end of tonight. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and you saw the you see the thumbnail. You know what's going on. I'm talking about booktubers lying. What are they lying about? Reading. Are they reading all of these books per month? No. Ain't no way. They're skimming them. They're flipping through, getting some key phrases, some names, some key events, listening to audiobooks on 3.5 speed while they also do calculus and they grab a word here or there and then they go and wrap up, Google what happened on uh, Goodreads and they tell you about the book. I hope you all realize that I am being sarcastic, but I do wanna talk about it. So if you've been on the bookish internet for any amount of time, especially if you were on Twitter, then you know the age old question that comes around every fruit every few months, hell, probably more than that. And it's how do people read so many books? I saw one the other day and it said, question for people who read 10 or more books a month, how? Usually um, other people are like, oh my God, how do y'all read so much? Sometimes there's a screenshot of someone's Goodreads goal. How do you read so much? How do you even do this? I don't have time for this. And it's like, how are we still having this question? So I, from this recent thread, wanted to go through because some of the quote tweets or responses were funny. So I thought that'd be fun to go over and then just honestly talk about why it's even a question, why it's an issue. And then also I have some videos to pinpoint you to if you really are looking on how to read more, how to read faster. Some people said, I don't have a social life. I don't have any other hobbies. Someone said mental illness. I have a lot of downtime at work. It's all I do for fun, girl. I don't know what to tell you. I read everywhere I go. Answers are varied. Some people were like le legitimately giving a response, like literally this is how I read. And some people were, you know, obviously being sarcastic, but it's like, one, why is it even a question? And I think it comes down to competition, obviously. 
I used to feel that way when I would see people post their wrap ups on Instagram and on booktube and it'd be like, Oh my god, you read 20 books? Like, how is this possible? And I, I mean, I never tweeted it on the internet. <laughs> Why would I do that? But you know, I was working full time and I was reading, but I wasn't reading as much. And there are still people who do work full time who do booktube who do other things. And they also read a lot. And we just have to, I know it's easier said than done. stop competing with people because we're all different. We all have different reading sp speeds, how we like intake and process information. So somebody can maybe just read something really fast and understand it. And you or like me sometimes with really complicated or dense books, I have to like reread and kind of think about it. We all have uh, different schedules. We don't all have the same 24 hours. Some people may have children and be a single parent or they may have a partner but they also work full time or some people may have other hobbies so it's just like every month y'all couldn't just like google because <laughs> videos will pop up for you i'm sure there's articles out there that will pop up for you that say how people can read more per month now to my clickbait title of this video do i think some people are lying about how many books they read a month yes i mean statistically it has to be so right there's I mean we are a small subset of YouTube but there are what thousands of booktubers and just in that number that uh what do you call that in I don't know I'm not a pediatrician but you know with statistics in that group in that population of uh, let's say 1,000 booktubers there's at least got to be one person in there who's lying and I mean you could probably know that if you've read a book you watch someone's wrap up or review and you're like is that is that really what happened in the book and I don't think it's majority of people but it just probably is that at least some people are lying about certain books they read or maybe they skim read or they listen to the audiobook but kind of tuned out it's just what it is that's facts um but I'm not like pointing fingers at anybody but I think just like <laughs> it's all right some people do not have a social life, they just stay at home and read. Some people don't have a partner or children so they can focus all their time on reading. Some people don't have other hobbies, but then people like, I get into moods where I wanna watch more TV or I just wanna play The Sims and not even listen to an audiobook. But if reading is literally your one form of entertainment, you don't have maybe friends or family close by and you just read all the time, it is easy to read a lot of books. Also depends on what kind of books you read. If you're reading middle grade books or children's books, those obviously are gonna go by faster. Graphic novels, manga, comic books, you're gonna go through more volumes. And then also romance. Romances are usually short and they're just really easy to get through. Or if you're reading novellas, uh, short story collections, I don't know. And then audiobooks. Audiobooks are life changing. When I was working and I had to drive a lot, I would listen to audiobooks. That was a big help. Some people have, you know, desk jobs where they maybe are doing just really like uh, tasks that don't require a lot of like mental focus. And so they can listen to an audiobook while you're walking, walking your dog walking to work or commuting to work, um, folding laundry. Like if you want to read more, there are ways. It doesn't mean that you will necessarily be the next person saying, I read 30 books this month. But if you're looking at your day now and saying, well, I spend five hours on TikTok <laughs> and I want to read more, then you can look at replacing that time. Or every time I lay down on the couch to read, I fall asleep. So if I didn't sit there to read, maybe I could read more. Like there are ways and there are a lot of booktubers who have videos, who have different tips and tricks on how they read more. And those are going to be linked down below. But I just, it's just interesting how this, I mean, I guess other communities may have this. I don't know. The book community is the only really community I am a part of online besides like fitness. I wouldn't say a part of, I just like kind of stand to the side and I'm like, but we have these cyclical conversations and I don't think I had mentioned this one before but it's just like every time I see it I'm like Again. and I understand it's hard it's easy to be jealous sometimes I'm still like dang you got through you know I'm in awe at a lot of people who have children who have jobs who and still put up amazing content and read great books but I also listen to their reviews and their wrap-ups and I'm like yeah you read that book so some people are just, they have better reading speeds, better processing power than my little brain right here. And that's just gonna be what it is, honey. I can't change it. I can do, you know, little things here. Sometimes, um, what's it called? Hybrid reading, like following along with the audiobook. My battery's gonna die, who's surprised? 
My tripod started exhibiting very bootleg behavior and so I finally got the camera off to replace the battery and then I was trying to put it back on the tripod and it was just being very ghetto. So anyway, you're stacked on a interesting stack of books. To wrap up this video, every one is different. Literally, Andrew has listened to an audiobook on one time speed. I was about to lose my mind, but he was like, I really enjoy the narration. I just want to listen to it slowly that did not work for me he thinks it sounds too fast when it's at 1.5 or 2.0 but he also doesn't read a lot of books so you know let's let's not have any hateration or holleration in this dancery you know you can there's resources and you just have to realize that you are you and they are them and that's just gonna ha be how it's gonna be do i wish there was a lot of things different about me mm-hmm Yes, yes I do, but I can't change a lot of them. I cannot change, so I just must do. So anyways, maybe if people spent less time wondering how other people read so much and just spent that time reading, you could fit in a couple more pages. I'm just saying, but that's all I have for you today. Just a quick little PSA, but yeah, in the description, there are links to videos where people are saying how they read so many books in a year and they read a lot. So maybe check those out if you're curious. Anyway, I hope this gave you a laugh. And if you have any tips or tricks for anyone, feel free to share them down below. Um, and I think that's it. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreened, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.